In this video, we're going to talk about how to draw the Lewis structure of carbon dioxide. There's many ways in which you can do this, but typically when drawing the Lewis structure of any molecule, you need to add up the valence electrons. Carbon has four valence electrons, and you could find out this number by looking at the location of each of the carbons in the periodic table. Carbon is found in group 4A of the periodic table, and therefore it's going to have four valence electrons. Oxygen is found in group 6A, and so it's going to have six valence electrons. But since we have two oxygen atoms in a molecule of CO2, we need to multiply six by two. Six times two is 12, and four plus 12 is 16. Now, since 16 is a multiple of 8, there's going to be no lone pairs on a central carbon atom. Now, there's something else I'd like to highlight. Carbon has four valence electrons. Oxygen has six. Now, oxygen wants to have eight electrons. And so what it can do is it can acquire two more electrons to get to eight. So typically, oxygen likes to find I mean, it likes to form two bonds in order to acquire the two extra electrons that it need to get to eight. Now, carbon, it can either acquire four electrons to get to eight, or it can give away the four electrons that it has. Either case, carbon likes to form four bonds. And so just by knowing that, we can construct a Lewis structure. If carbon likes to form four bonds, and each oxygen atom likes to form two bonds, then it makes sense to put a double bond between carbon and oxygen. In this way, every oxygen atom has two bonds and carbon has four. Now, because oxygen wants to have eight electrons, we need to add some lone pairs. Each oxygen atom already has two bonds, which is four electrons. So we need to add two lone pairs to each oxygen atom. So now in this structure, we have a total of 16 valence electrons, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. So this is the Lewis structure of the carbon dioxide molecule. This particular molecule has a linear molecular geometry. As you can see, it appears to be a straight line. And what do you think the bond angle is for this type of molecular shape? Straight lines have a bond angle of 180 degrees. So that is the bond angle of the CO2 molecule with respect from oxygen to the central carbon atom to the other oxygen. It's 180 degrees. Now what about the hybridization of the central carbon atom? The hybridization of the central carbon atom is sp. An sp orbital is a hybrid orbital between 1s orbital and 1p orbital. So that's the hybridization of the carbon atom. And so that's basically it for this video. Now you know how to draw the Lewis structure of the carbon dioxide molecule, CO2. You also know its molecular shape, which is linear. You know the bond angle, which is 180, and you also know the hybridization at the central carbon atom, which is, it has an SP hybridization. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.